Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you. In with my second preview of the new X670 E motherboards with the AM5 socket. Now, I am waiting for a couple of extra processors to come from AMD. You can go and see my 770X review and my 7950X review, both on the website and on the channel, if you'd like to go and tune in. And I'm going to be going into full reviews of all the motherboards once I've done the 7600X and the the 7900X. Too many sevens and fives for me to say, and I keep saying things like 5900X and having to refilm stuff. But on the table today is the first of the Aces boards that I am going to preview. I used the Hero in my original uh, CPU review, and that's because that's the board that AMD sent me. This is one of the first boards that I've had from uh, Asus, and we obviously all love a Strix. The videos are always really popular. They're normally at a decent price point and come in with decent performance, but I'm not going to be able to say anything about that until I've actually been through and done all the testing. Now, it is saying 16 plus 2 power stages. I have had no review documentation from Asus at all, so I do not know what the MOSFETs are. Um, I'm going to say that they're probably super alloy chokes and probably black capacitors because that's normally what they are. But the actual uh, MOSFET makeup or how they've set up the power stages, I don't know because I've had zero uh, information from them about it and it's still not on the website. Dual PCI Express 5 M.2 is what they're saying, so that's actually quite a big one. We're going to have to look in to see how the bandwidth for that is allocated when I get the said review documentation. And this is one of the reasons why it does make my life quite difficult when I don't get it and I'm expected to make videos. Uh, but storage, you can see here, PCI Express 5 times 4, PCI Express 5 times 4 for 1 and 2. And then for the third and fourth M.2, it goes down to PCI Express uh, 4. So that's good to know. Also, you can see here one PCI Express 5 times 16 slot. I do wonder where if you start using the M.2s, whether the eight lanes for those comes from the 16 times lanes there. We will find out for you about that in the main review. Now, inside the box, I have already had to take pictures because with all due respect boys and girls I have to do stuff on the website for this as well so you can go and have a look at all the pictures and stuff over there I can update the website stuff with updates a lot easier than I can the videos that's actually really difficult to get off it's all kind of like sticking on everything oh well all right okay so we'll put the motherboard over there for us to have a look at. But inside the box itself, let's have a look what's in here. I believe it is just the Wi-Fi. And it is, ta-da! Now, the Wi-Fi dongle itself, magnetic, kind of nice, sticks on your case. You can move it around as well. Gold-bladed connectors, all really nice. Does mean that you've got Wi-Fi with the board, which is all kind of cool. Now, stickers. Uh, I'm loving the kind of bluey pinky stuff. That's obviously quite a cool colour because if you have a look in the background, that's exactly what I'm doing. In case you're wondering, it's red and blue lights. There is no pink there. There is no purple. It's just the red light, pink light. Oh, sorry. Red light, blue light, red light, blue light. And that's literally how it ends up coming out. So just so you know. Anyway, fan stickers. Love that. Lovely bubbly. Uh, a few other little small ones that you can use. There's no ones there for cables or anything like that. Probably just thinking, he's not building a server. It's just a gaming rig. Two SATA um, uh, cables, that is it. You get a key ring. It is fabric as well. They've been putting these in every box. So they obviously bought loads of these and are just trying to get rid of them. Uh, and then in reality, the only other thing to talk about other than things like pads, and sort of like screws and covers, which doesn't really matter. They've given you some zip ties. So that is all that's in the box. So it's not the busiest box for accessories, but then the board itself. Okay, change camera angle, Thomas. Here we go, deep breaths. I'm already loving the aesthetic. So it's all very black. There are some little silvery highlights down on here 
and I'm going to assume that this is going to light up at some point, but it doesn't look like there's going to be any other light on the board. The original Asus pop switch for the PCI Express, have seen this on a gigabyte um, board now, so I don't know whether Asus didn't have it patented or only had the patent for a certain amount of time, but I am going to call these the Asus PCI Express switch because it's just exactly what it makes me think of. Now, up in the top hand corner, two eight pins, they are shielded, which is nice, but the pins are solid, which is also very nice. Then we have CPU fan, CPU optional, and then an AIO pump uh, header up here. This can be really good for running a full speed fan off, by the way. Three pin and then a four pin uh, RGB connector. Another PWM fan header here. USB 3.2 Gen 2, USB 3.2 down here. Four SATA um, headers in total. Down the bottom, CPU overvolt header here. I'm not sure what this one is because it's not telling me. But it's either going to be a thermal probe header or it could be the BIOS reset um, header that you can short out. There is another one over here, like a dual one as well. Now, down the bottom, two more fan headers. Uh, and I'm scanning around just so that I can see. I believe that is all the fan headers on the board. So you've got one, two, three up the top, four five, six, and then seven, eight. So there's eight four pin PWMs on the board in total. Remember though, because I use uh, PWM splitters all the time, one of these into three reasonable fans I've never had a problem with. And I regularly use fans that pull like 3000 RPM or like a pull in big power and I've never had a problem with it cooking anything else. Two USB twos down the bottom, onboard headers, Nice touch. We still need these things for plugging in AIOs. We still need these things for plugging in power supplies and all the low sort of end stuff. Then another couple of RGBs. You can see over here that we've got Supreme FX Audio. And it says cover. What does that say down the side? Who dare for those who dare for? Who dare for those who dare for? Okay. Anyway, I'm going to look around the electrical section. The PWMs, PWMs, the chokes, the caps, as I've said, probably super alloy chokes, probably black Japanese capacitors. No idea about the MOSFETs though. You can see though, that there is quite a lot of surface area. They're quite tall, loads of bits hanging out. So I don't think they're expecting these to be particularly, like they're definitely, there's a big heat sink there for a reason. Obviously I'm only speculating because I don't know until I've tested it. But you get the idea. Underneath here's your um, Gen 5. There's probably another Gen 5 underneath here somewhere. But you never know at the moment. It's kind of weird. Oh, that's nice. I really like that. I'm going to have to put it down to show you that. The Rog Strix logo there, if you have a look, it looks like it's almost going into a black hole. Or it looks like something that belongs on like a, an 80s video game. It makes It's quite retro. I actually think that's going to be a shame to cover it up. Now... I know this has been a very quick whiz around, and we do need to look around the back. HDMI display port, a uh, couple of um, USB 4s over here. Is it USB 4s? On the Hero, it was USB 4, although that's not saying it. It's definitely uh, USB C, so yeah, it might not be 4. The Hero had USB 4 headers here, two side by side. Then you've got uh, six USB. 3.2 Gen 2 up here, a couple of normal ones, and one of these is the BIOS flashback header. Clear CMOS here, BIOS flashback button here with its little switch under the little thing. And then you can also see down the bottom here, SS20. So this must be the super speed 20. So this might be, this is faster than the other two. Wi-Fi 6E, 2.5 gig ethernet, then your yeah, outputs for the audio, these all light up in the specific colours as well, which makes a nice pattern on the wall. But if you're ever trying to change these in the dark, they're actually really handy. Now, yes, I know, I have whizzed round on this, and that's because I'm just excited to show you new kit, to the point where uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to get a chance to do the preview, because I have lots of other stuff to do, but the, this is the first of many boards that I have from Asus, to A, do previews for you, but also, most importantly, these all boards that I will be doing complete reviews, 
guides and everything on. We have so much work to do and I'm so excited. So thank you for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, comment, any feedback underneath, good, bad or ugly, I will listen to it. And if we can sort something out, because I'm not perfect, but if you want to try and help me get a bit closer to it, or a bit better than the badness that I was, however you want to put it, I'm all ears and I will take any uh, thing that you want to feedback greatly. But for now at least, this is the tiniest one with a massive mountain of work to climb out. <laughs>